this is quite often asked, you know, how does artwork constitute research? Is my art considered research? And what is research? And especially at a uh, Research One institution. in the art world is creating an actual work, creating a show or a series of works that assemble as a solo show around an idea, and then actually having that be publicized in galleries or in museums um, across the country and internationally. It involves many levels. It involves the public. It involves the people who are on the outside of the art world, as well as people that are on the inside. The best way to maybe talk about research is with the example behind me, which is conversations. Um, this piece is a piece that I made in conjunction with the Center for Visualization and Virtual Environments. It took a year and a half to do that. It was all synced by hand. Um, it took about one month to actually film. The actual result was that people just love to see real people talking about really anything and that it was just such great entertainment they couldn't care less what they were saying except that they wanted to laugh and that it was so great that I had people asking me to be in my in the next edition that they wanted to subject themselves to being maybe somewhat celebrities. I first became involved with the Center for Visualization and Virtual Environments through a collaboration um, that was put together with Dr. Joe Fink uh, of the Aztec Center with Dr. Brent Seals and Dr. Chris Janes. My component and my role here was to provide a lot of aesthetic uh, feedback. For me, it was important and for them to say, you know, this isn't believable, that you actually really need to work on the aesthetics in order to convince the public. I work with a new colleague, Dima Strakowski. I, I'm happy to say I was instrumental in bringing him uh, to the campus, to the University of Kentucky. He is, I think he's a very impressive artist. Also, I thought he would be a great complement and a bridge um, between myself, who I do more aesthetic research here at the center, with somebody who actually can do more programming. He speaks the same language, or he speaks more of the language of the programmers here at the Viz Center, yet yeah, at the same time, is still does aesthetic uh, objects as the output. There's a lot of research that goes into creating an artwork, but essentially an artwork is a creative product. The way I would look at an artwork is not necessarily as research in and of itself. Okay? Um, things that I do to create artwork often involve quite a bit of research. The practice sort of culminates in a work of art. So, which would be an object or an experience. But in order to get to, create, to the creation point for that work of art, I have to do quite a bit of research. This has to do both with materials that I'm using. Obviously, electronics, robotics, uh, some programming techniques do require some research. Um, and quite a bit of reading up and you know, going to different forums online and reading books, things like that. Uh, but, um, and, and also I would say the concepts that I'm dealing with require quite a bit of research. So some of the work that I've generated uh, this year, for example, has been for the projects that um, were led by the scientists from the center. Um, for example, the Visualization Center created, what is it, the world's highest resolution monitor. Okay, so this is an array of um, projectors and I've basically created a work that would take advantage of this super high resolution uh, wall. And then from that work, I actually created another series of works that were print-based, but still had some of the same ideas and related to it conceptually very much. An artwork essentially is like a piece of cake. So there's these top layers, the icing, the icing is what's going to draw people in visually. The icing is what's going to tell people, it's like, mmm, I want to eat this. OK, this is great. OK? You don't want to have a cake made just out of icing, right? Everyone is going to be going like, oh, that's too sweet. There's not enough variety here. You need these other layers. What is an issue is why are you creating art? Why are you actually um, 
Why should the public be interested in your project? How are you doing representation? What are you choosing to represent? It's always a constant reminder that you don't need so much um, to tell something uh, with real power. You just need a really powerful idea and a very interesting way of performing it.